a real life hero. An unbelievable journey. 18 year old Hayden put her life at risk. She joined a group of peaceful protesters at sea in an effort to save pilot whales, part of the dolphin family, facing death by Japanese fishermen. The group traveled on surfboards through water bright red from animals already slaughtered for their meat. The group's mission to form a memorial circle at Taiji Cove, where the whales were captured and trapped in nets. The peaceful protest took a turn when local fishermen converged, prodding the group with their sticks and propeller blades. At one point, I actually had to take my foot out of the water because they got the propeller within inches. So they're very aggressive. Did you ever fear for your safety or your life at all? No. No. If the... anything, I just I kind of almost wanted them to hit me because it just would have made that much more of an impact. Hayden paddled back to shore, choking back tears. She and the others quickly drove away. They barely escaped the angry fishermen. Yeah. Well, now we have these photos that are showing Hayden and the group surrounded by police. Jeff, you were right there. Did you get a sense at the time that they wanted to make arrests? Uh, yeah, at the, at the time when we got pulled over, they had a roadblock set up, about 30 police officers, a big paddy wagon. I just kind of looked around at everybody and said, I think we're going to jail. So I was actually really surprised that we didn't. Now, with possible arrests hanging over your heads, are you guys still planning to, to go back there? Uh, you know, we definitely want to do something that's going to, you know, continue to raise awareness down there. She was featured in one of the most pulse-pounding thrillers of the year, a gut-wrenching documentary about the killing of dolphins. Hayden Panettiere put her life on the line in the Oscar-winning film. Now she's back for more, and we have your first look. October 07, Hayden, just 17, and five others paddle out to confront a crew of Japanese fishermen. As seen in the documentary, The Cove, the peaceful protest turns violent. The fishermen turn their poles and spinning propellers on the protesters. We hung strong, yeah. man. They were, they were nailing us. Hayden emerges from the confrontation and can't control her tears. <laughs> that was the most emotional thing about this was just feeling powerless. Now Hayden returns to the notorious cove, her visit this time a lot less confrontational. Sorry. We're there to also to join them and to not disrespect them and to not point a finger at them. That included getting hundreds of local kids to form a giant human painting, a man and a dolphin. The biggest thing that it changed about me was the feeling of empowerment. It's so easy to say, I'm just one person. What could I possibly do? I hope you'll join me in supporting the Whale Man Foundation. Let your voice be heard. We have the power to make a difference in our world.